In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to set up registering users into your BuddyBoss community. We have two options. We can use the BuddyBoss registration form, or you can use a custom URL to redirect users, which is very useful for membership plugins. So I'm going to go through all this. The first thing you want to do is make sure that enable registrations is checked and enabled. That's what gives us the sign up button that takes us to the register form. If I come back here and turn that off, and then come back here, you'll see that registration is disabled. And if I come back here, there's no sign up button. So let's go ahead and turn that back on. And then you'll notice that the form that it's selected to is Buddy Boss Registration. That's the default form. So when I come back here and refresh and click sign up, that's giving us our form that lets users register and create an account. In another video, I explain how to set up all the fields on here. The important thing to note from these settings is that we have these checkboxes to add email confirmation and password confirmation to this form. So you can see email, confirm email, password, confirm password. The form is going to reject you from sign up if these don't match. So if I go back here and uncheck these and then refresh, it removes those. So you might ask, why do we have these options? If you have the confirm email and confirm password set, then you're less likely to get mistaken registrations. However, it also makes people less likely to fill out the form because the more fields that are on this page, the more intimidating the form is to them. So that's up to you to trade off what you want to do there. And if you're using the Buddy Boss registration form, you're going to want to make sure to head over to pages. And from here, you can configure the pages that are needed for the registration form. So the register page is what's going to be used as this page here. The activate account page, basically when someone registers, they're sent an email and the email has a link that they click to confirm their account. And they will be sent when they click that email to this activate page. And then these pages are optional. If you select them, then you'll get this link here telling you that by creating an account, you're agreeing to the terms of service and privacy policy. So you can see my terms of service is blank. That's just because I don't have any content on that page. You can go into the WordPress page and add content in there, and then that will appear. And so these two forms only appear if you have set pages for them. So for example, if I go like that, and refresh, then it's only asking me to agree to the po privacy policy. If I turn off both, then the warning goes away totally. All right, so now I wanna show you the other option, which we just recently added based on a lot of customer feedback, which is the ability to easily use your own custom URL and send all the registrations there. This is really useful for membership plugins. I'll show you an example right now. So I have MemberPress set up here, so let me go in there. And you can see I have this membership tier that I set up. So let's view what that membership tier is like. So this is $100 a year. Let's say I don't wanna use the Buddy Boss registration form at all. I wanna turn off free memberships and I wanna force everyone to go here to purchase the membership to the site. So I can grab that URL and paste it here and save that. And if I come back to pages, you'll notice that the options to set up pages for Buddy Boss registration form are removed because that form is totally not used anymore. And then if I come back to my site logged out, if I click on sign up, it's gonna take me to that membership tier. Or if I click on login, create an account, or click here, Basically, all the links will redirect me to here, and this is taken over as my register form. 